Hey, what's up guys? So we're here at uh, Tekka Center in Little India. So what are we gonna do here? Hi Sam. guys. He's shopping with yeah. Arrow. Yes. And then, as you can see, we're all wearing masks. The situation in Singapore has heightened. Please take care, wash your hands, don't touch your face. And we'll see you guys soon. A few moments later. Hi guys! Uh, now we are in La Salle. As you can see, La Salle is a beautiful place. So we took a half an hour rest here to discuss our mission. So what's our mission? That so we, we're gonna buy a lot of PC parts. And uh, so the plan now is we're gonna go to Sibling Tower to get our PC parts and hopefully we can finish our PC building at the end of the day. So that's the plan for now. Hopefully you can get all the parts that we need and we will get back to you on the PC. See you guys. Start Don't forget the shout out to the Dinocore guys. Oh yeah, sure. And a uh, huge shout out to the Dinocore guys for helping us choose the PC parts and suggesting to for us the upgraded parts for a same budget that we planned for. So all these parts amount up to the cost of $1,293, which was less than our original budget of $1,340. So without further ado, let's dive right in into our PC parts. So as you can see over here, this is the skull of the computer, or known as the motherboard, where it houses the CPU, GPU, RAM. And uh, let's open this box, alright? So as you can see, the name is B450M. Aquarius Light Light motherboard. It's designed to support AMD motherboards. So it's, as you can see, the packaging is really neat. There's an instruction manual inside. And wow. Without further ado. Static, huh? Oh! <laughs> Okay, let me touch the metal surfaces. Always touch metal surfaces. No, you go down. Oh, always touch metal surfaces before you touch the operator parts. So without further ado, I'm going to touch the non-metal portion of the motherboard. Arrow will be helping me. So as you can see, this is where the CPU is, this is where the RAM will be, this is CPU, this is the RAM, this is where you're going to slot in the graphics card, the main slot of the graphics card is the SOPs, and then this is where you supply the power from the power supply unit to the motherboard, and then respective other uh, cables. This one is like for the extension cord. This? This one? This one is for other graphics card, or Wi-Fi wi 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 card. Um, other cards that you might need to use. Okay. So uh, just to recap very quickly, we're doing an AMD board. Okay now, there's the motherboard out, the CPU, the brains, the brains, which is the AMD Ryzen. Um, let's look at the specs. The specs is 6 core 12 thread processor. And it's 3.9 GHz max uh, for with max boost. Uh, at a normal speed, it will be 3.4 GHz. It's quite fast. So I'm gonna 
because this is a mid-tier budget build, um, I'm assuming it's good for standard games, movie streaming, and Photoshop. Let's open it. So without further ado, unboxing the brains of the computer, CPU. Pretty nice packaging, the instruction manual in front. Whoa! That's how it looks. $100. $100. $100. Okay. I'm assuming this is the stock fan. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. And this is the brains AMD Ryzen R5. Fun fact about AMD chips, they're generally bigger than Intel chips and you get slightly hotter as well. Every time it opens, it's <laughs> milk. <laughs> it's cooking, you can use it to cook eggs. I think there are memes about it. Link in the comment below. What? <laughs> yeah, literally you can use that to cook eggs. Okay, so this is a stock cooler. Yeah. We might be upgrading this, we'll update you guys in the following week. Joke for our friend over there, okay? Now, the CPU out of the way, let's let look at the power supply. CX650M power supply, 650 volts, gold star rating. Cross Air is one of the best power supply units out there. So, let's unbox this. I like the catchphrase, do your thing. Wires, I don't have to go through them. But something interesting is the wires are braided so they will last a little longer than traditional wires. This is the power supply in it. Let's see how it looks like. Wow. Wow. I like the color. The color is really nice. Sexy oh, black. Yeah, yeah. Sexy black. Sexy black, yeah. So this is how it looks like. Oh, this one is modular, right? Yeah, it's modular. Wait, is it modular? Semi? Semi? Semi modular. Because the cable is not yet attached. Oh, oh, oh semi modular, yeah. So, uh, modular basically means that you can detach and attach the cable. So, as you can see here, it's not, the wires are not fixed to the power supply so this is most likely a semi-modular PSU link in the comments below if you think it's semi-modular, modular or not okay, with the power supply done <laughs> we are coming to the beast the uh, muscles the, beast. the muscles of the, seat, the computer the graphics card. So as you can see over here, the GeForce RTX 2060. So apparently when we shot for the computer, what we realized was we were initially going for the 1660 uh, TX. TI. TI. However, um, what, what shop is that? Dinocore. Dinocore. The guy at Dinocore. The guy at Dinocore. Um, Abdul. Shout out to Abdul. He suggested we buy this. For fifteen dollars more, and it's a huge upgrade for us. And it's VR ready. It's fire storm ready. It has ice storm. Um, let me read to you the other features. Its memory size is six GB GDDR6. Memory bus is hundred ninety two bit. Uh, output is HDMI Display Port and supports Windows ten. Of course, this is one of the latest parts out there, right? All right. Uh, I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Let's open it. Okay. It's like opening a Christmas present. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tight, guys. Let's get it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh! What do you think? Another package. Another package. Another 
different from the uh, traditional SSD where they come in a block form. This SSD will be mounted directly on the motherboard. So uh, this is 250 GB and uh, it's where the main OS, so it's going to be a Windows operating system. The main OS will be here, the Barracuda will be storing all the other files and information. So now we have unboxed all of these parts. In the next video, we'll get back to you with the full assembled PC to show you how it works if you have performance breakdown, the benchmarks of the CPU, GPU, HDD. We'll run some tests, a video tests, audio tests, definitely graphics tests. And then we'll get back to you and we're really excited to do this job. See you soon guys. PC for Arrow. So right now we're going to test drive this PC. I can't wait to see how this baby works. We'll get back to you soon with the results. 